Hello and welcome. It's time for another update. The update from the heart. There is energy. There is frequencies. There is vibrations. And there is also, of course, the consciousness that is directly related to both. And I am particularly excited at this time. We are in Aquarius. Pluto is in Aquarius. So definitely a lot of shifts are happening. More of us are awakening. More of us are catching the wave and catching the new vibrations that are available. And more of us are actually recognizing there is a path into the heart and through the heart connecting to our uniqueness as well as to our wholeness and also giving us an opportunity to stepping into new world 5d whatever you want to call it we are halfway through in a way from 2012 to 2032 that has been has been identified by many whether it's indigenous or other conscious spiritual people whatever we want to call it but not only people but also by the information we're getting from astrology and the cards and, and the stars so this is a very very exciting time and of course we are also at an end time the equinox is still playing a little bit out which is beautiful because it's pushing us all in the same direction and of course now the eclipse is coming up the solar eclipse first and then we have a lunar eclipse the stars are really supporting us at the moment to go into a deeper level of healing to see what we were maybe afraid to see to accept what we maybe thought was a drama but really we can dissolve we can let go and we can transform this is not a time of problem solving. The problem solving still has a purpose in some ways, but this is a time of going much, much deeper. It's not finding a quick fix or a slow fix. It is really about being able to go beyond. And beyond is that transformational work. Whether you want to work with the fire which is a very nice one. You just put it all in the fire and you truly let it go and let it transform. Whether you put it in the earth so it becomes a new fertilizer. There is many, many ways to do that. But at the essence of all at this moment in time is the letting go. If you transform, you allow it. You're still letting something go. If you are bringing it to the earth, for fertilization, you're still letting it go. So this is the invitation that we all have. So what are we letting go? We're letting go the old paradigms, the entrapment, enslavement, and entanglement that kept us in, her, in there. The traps of identity and labels and how we should be expectations that come from domestication, colonization and domination in many many different forms so this is the time to just let it go yes i do listen a, a lot to um, dolores cannon because i find her really fascinating for a long time since i read one of her books and it seems like she comes up a lot again yes you just need to let it go it is not a time, and I mean, she said these things more than 10 years ago because she's not with us for more than 10 years. But now it's another very crucial time with where we are at. Let it go. There is no use in holding on to the old drama. We are at the end of a cycle. Transform it, do whatever you need to do. Set yourself free. And yes, there's a very good way to do that through the heart. As we are really fully connecting into our uniqueness and wholeness, it's not separate. The uniqueness is also part of Aries and can be also misunderstood. But the uniqueness is more 
the one that wants it his way or her way. The uniqueness is more about accepting who we truly are, expressing it freely and allowing it to be part of the whole. So it's a very different vibration, a different level of consciousness. Uniqueness wants the sacred relationship. Uniqueness is divine, masculine and feminine together. So all these beautiful things that are coming back together. So in order to have that consciousness, in order to live this, it takes a lot of letting go. The habits, the conventions, the self-interest, the fear. And yes, I can assure you it's possible. It may take a little bit of time. It may take a little bit of patience. It surely takes a lot of courage. Because really, to be unique takes a lot of courage. We live in a time of categorization, in a time of labeling, in a time of standardization. We're measuring each other at particular personal traits, personality, persona, but I'm not talking about that. This goes back, I say back in the time of self-development where we're trying to achieve certain traits that are marketable, that are employable, that achieve things that are measurable like money or status. I'm not talking about that. I'm really talking about living in the heart. I'm talking about being unique for, for this shift. Being unique for each other. Being unique for yourself. Because when you allow your heart to sing, life is very different. Being unique for nature and truly enter that magic of harmony that's in nature. Collaborate, enjoy. And also, of course, the relationship with the stars. This is what it's all about right now. So, yes, we are very delighted, privileged, blessed and enjoying to be in that sink here in our magical space in Lamas in Peru. And yes, we are doing most of this work as well. So it's about doing it for yourself because this is what makes your heart sing, but not selfishly, but doing it so you can share. For those who are in a way, working with you directly. Let's not work anymore. Who are with you directly. But also for nature, for earth, and for the stars, and for this whole ascension process. So this is where it really happens. And this is where we can weave, where we can be together with these new frequencies, with these new energies that are coming to us to lift us all into this new consciousness. So yes, consciousness architecture has a lot of relevance at this moment as it helps us to bring it into all aspects of our life. And yes, we're doing our best to, to share that. We've just about to complete a unique retreat that was over a month, which is for us to a new experience it's magic when we really get to get together on that level and over that period of time where you can't just run away and say yeah i deal with it tomorrow no no tomorrow you're still here so this is one thing that is very exciting it is all about that heart sinking truly letting go truly embracing the self in the wholeness not only the physical persona, of course, to let go of all what doesn't really fit anymore and to being able to step into that 5D, into that 
new consciousness that's already here it's just a matter of us setting free to actually be in it so this is the thing that we're doing we're also doing mystical experience face to face here in lamas should you be in the region you can find much of what we're doing on our website so i will put a link in there and on the community i will share more about the general things we are doing we are also starting a new uh, short short series short course series on mapping so if you're interested in that i will also put a link in there for you to to check it out we are working with a few individuals as well so just tune in and don't forget we also have digital productions again i would put a link for the heart shop where you can enjoy in your own space on your own pace this beautiful beautiful journey into new earth so thank you so much for being here today and yeah embrace even if it seems turbulent even if things are breaking and coming to an end it's just the beginning into the new see you there much love